Samantha, how's it going? I'm good, thanks for asking. And I hope you guys are doing well too. Welcome to video number five. <laughs> As you guys can tell, we're coming to you from a different space, a new space, but that'll be the only thing that's new today since we'll be reviewing everything that we've been covering in our last four videos today. That's exactly right. What Mr. Mario is saying, today we're gonna review all the concepts, but also putting them into practice. Enjoy. So it's been a long time since video one, but we're gonna go ahead and review some of those note values that we learned way back then. Up on the screen right now, we have some notes separated by measures, which we know what separates from measures, right, Mr. Humberto? The bar lines. That's right, that's right. So we have measures up on the board, and at the end of our example, we have something that means that we're at the end, which is? A double bar line indicates is the end of a song or a short piece. Excellent. So we also have our three kinds of notes that we learned back then, and I believe there was a clap that went with each one, is that right? That's correct. So let's just review those claps for old time's sake. The first notes that we see are quarter notes. That quarter note, we just clap it as quarter. quarter. Then we have a half note, which is two beats, which we clap half, half note. note. And lastly, we have the whole note, which is four beats, and we're gonna clap that by going hold that whole note. note. Excellent. I think we're ready to give this example a try. What do you think? So let's try this very slowly. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Quarter, quarter, half note. Quarter, half note. Quarter, hold that whole note. Quarter, 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 hold that whole note. Quarter, quarter, half note. Hold that whole note. Terrific. Excellent. All right, so the next thing we saw and that we learned is dynamics. Mr. Mario, do you remember what dynamics refers to in music? I believe dynamics are the signs that tell us how loud or soft to play. Exactly. And by signs, we mean we have little letters like P or F on top of the notes. In this case, we have piano and forte. And forte was for soft, right? No, Mr. Roberto, forte means loud and strong. Oh, that's true. And piano is singing soft. So up on the screen, we have the same notes that we review. Now let's try to go and clap these notes with the dynamics we have on top of them. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Quarter, quarter, half note. Quarter, half note. Quarter. Hold that whole note. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hold that whole note. Quarter, quarter, half note. Hold that whole note. Excellent. So last week, we learned our entire musical alphabet from A to G. Today, we're going to try to combine part of that musical al alphabet, the first five notes to be specific, and our notation that we've learned in terms of quarter notes, half notes, whole notes, and measures, and see how it goes putting them together. So that's pretty much making music, combining rhythm with note values and pitches, which is just like the musical alphabet. Exactly. So if we remember, we have A, B, C, D, E, A. We're only gonna go as far as singing a fifth in terms of going up on pitches and intervals. Remember, the relation between two notes, it doesn't matter which notes they are, it's an interval. So, up in the screen, we have the same notes that we just did with the rhythm and the hand motions, and we have added the musical alphabet on top. So we're gonna go very slow, and we're gonna try to sing this. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, A, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, C, E, A. I gotta say, that's not easy, but if you really focus in trying to do the hand motion and the values, maybe you can tap with your other hand so you know how long is a whole note, it's four beats. A half note is two beats. That way you can keep pace of it. Also, I gotta say, it's not easy to try and put everything together, 
But that's music. It's a combination of everything. So what about if we give it another try? I'm, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Hey, Let's, I'm a musician and this is hard for me. So as long as you're staying with us, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Also, if you saw Mr. Mario and I, we're kind of like, kind of like pulsing whenever we had a whole note or a half note. That's just kind of like so we can feel. It's kind of like the same as our motions. Exactly. It's kind of like so we can feel that we have four beats or two beats. Okay? <clears throat> so let let give this a try <laughs> one more time. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, A, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, C, E, A. Great job, everybody. So as if that wasn't hard enough, I think we should take it up another level. Why don't we combine our note rhythms with the musical al alphabet that we were doing and our pitches and throw in the dynamics that we were doing earlier. Wow, so that means that whatever we just did, now we have to be thinking about being forte for piano. That's a big challenge, but I think we can do it. Let's stay really focused, we're gonna take it slow, and remember, we start piano, and then look where the F is in the fourth bar. We're gonna go forte, and then bring it down for the next two bars. Let's try. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, ready. A, B, C, D, E, A, E, A, B, C, D. One more time, one more time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, A, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, C, E, A. Congratulations, that's making music. Good job. So what we just did is pretty much making music. We had dynamics, note values, pitches, which are the musical alphabet. Is there anything that we could add to this combination? I mean, not to make it any harder, but maybe some lyrics would be cool. Wow, well this San Diego Opera program is called Words and Music after all. That is. So we're gonna sing a song for you. We don't have to worry about the hand motion right now. We just gotta worry about making beautiful lines and phrases. So Mr. Mario and I have come just with a little short sentence. Basically, we're gonna have a syllable in each note and it's gonna sound like this. One, two, Wait, three. what are you doing with your hand? Oh, as you notice, I tend to do this pattern when I'm counting one, two, ready, go. So it's one, two, three, four and orchestra conductors, choral conductors, mm -hmm. band conductors, any type of person that is conducting a big ensemble is gonna have hand motions. For this case, for the, for, we have four beats in one measure, so this is the motion that comes to it. One, two, inside, three, out, and four, up. So just to keep Mr. Mario and I together, I'm gonna conduct. show this sign or conduct so we stay together. Great. So here we go. <clears throat> One, two, ready, go. Umberto and Mario teaching you music has been a joy. You want to sing it with us? Let's try it. We'll put the words up on the screen so you know what we're saying and feel free to sing along. And try to follow my hand motion. That way you know how hold to hold it or how to keep moving. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Umberto and Mario teaching you music has been a joy. 
excellent. Good job, everybody. Thank you for joining us. A few moments later. La escalera. La maceta. El músico. <laughs> you know what that card reminds me of. El músico? Yeah. Remember those videos we used to make? <laughs> yeah. It was fun making those videos. It was a lot of fun. Makes you kind of want to come back for an encore. You know, that's a good idea. Stay tuned.